The Weekly Quest is sponsored by NerdFuel. Hey Questers, happy weekend and welcome to The Weekly Quest. It's an exciting time for VR, so let's check out what happened this week with The Quest. An absolute ton of events have been canceled this year from GDC to Facebook's F8 conference. Now another huge gaming conference has bitten the dust and that conference is E3. The Electronic Entertainment Expo is well known as a huge gaming event every year and with the cancellation of the event, developers and studios are having to turn to different avenues to showcase their games and experiences. In light of that, Facebook just announced the Game Developers Showcase, an online only event which will start on March 16th and run through the 19th. This will be a place Place where you'll see new game announcements and updates for games coming to both the Quest and the Rift platform. I'm excited to see what is revealed and some updates from games we've been waiting for. I also want to take time now to make an official announcement here on the channel that in light of E3 being canceled this June, you can now look forward to the VRE, or Virtual Reality Exposition. The VRE is a collaboration between VR content creators, developers, and other companies to bring the best and newest in VR to you. This event will be taking place in June over the course of several days and will include a VR showcase, an indie showcase, and even gameplay, dev interviews, and exclusive content. Keep your eyes on BMF for more info coming in the next month on specific timing and more. If you're a developer, studio, or company that wants to get involved or sponsor the event, then please email me at matt at bmfvr.com. If you've been looking into getting a gaming PC to utilize Oculus Link and have heard people talking about Shadow, the cloud-based gaming PC company, then buckle up. It just got better. This week, Shadow announced the newest addition to their services, a VR-specific cloud-based PC designed to run specifically with the Oculus Quest. From what I understand so far, this would eliminate the need for using virtual desktop to run PC VR games to your Quest. They're entering a closed beta soon and will be expanding the program over the coming months. This may be an awesome alternative to those who don't want to shell out $1,000 for a new gaming PC. As soon as I can get access to the service, I'm going to give it a shot and I'll do a video on how it functions so you know if it's worth it or not. This week, Facebook released that their researchers have discovered a way to give the Oculus Quest even more GPU power using artificial intelligence. Now, I know that more power and AI in the same sentence has long been looked at as a bad thing. Look at how Skynet ended up. But in this instance, it sounds like what they've been able to do is increase the GPU power of the Quest by about 67% using a new technique that is far too technical and complicated than I have time to get into right now. But essentially what it does is render the image in a lower resolution and then use machine learning to scale up the center of the image and enhance it using a super resolution algorithm. Right now, Facebook is saying that it's just for research, but it's an interesting concept to say the least and shows that in the future, we may be able to get more from less when it comes to these smaller and slower chipsets. Let's take a quick sponsor break and then we'll talk about some more Quest news and games. If you're looking for a morning pick me up or heck any time of the day, I'm not judging, check out Nerd Fuel. Nerd Fuel makes smooth and delicious small batch coffee, both whole bean and ground. This ain't your daddy's coffee either. With flavors like maple bacon and apple cinnamon, you'll be ready to jump back into your game and kick some tail, or just take on the day. Nerd Fuel is all about making the world a better and nerdier place, so they donate 20% of all profit to charity. Plus, with their nerd guarantee, if you don't love your coffee, they'll send you another bag on them. So check them out at nerdfuel.com. If you're a fan of mixed reality gameplay in games like Beat Saber or Super Hot, you're probably familiar with Live or Live. I'm honestly not sure how it's pronounced. Well, this week, Live slash Live released a beta for the Oculus Quest, and all it requires is an iOS device to use. I've yet to try it, but it looks amazing, and it should make creating mixed reality videos even easier for everyone. Also in new game news, the developers of Sirento are working on their next game. Not a whole ton is known yet about it, except that it'll be another combat simulator. The developers have been totally up and honest about how they feel when it comes to both their previous game and the next one. They've said that they plan on focusing on what they know how to do it and do it right. This next game will be a full-on combat simulator, and although it'll have a story mode, they've recognized that storytelling is not their strong suit, so they're going to have a light story, but have amazing combat. They also said they're going to make it more brutal than Sirento and push the limits of VR. The devs are asking for the help of those who played Sirento by filling out a questionnaire so they can give people exactly what they want in the next game. If you want to get involved, please head to the link in the description and check it out. A video popped up on Reddit yesterday for an upcoming VR title called Extreme Escapes. 
This game is currently in development for the Quest and other VR platforms. The footage you're seeing right here is actually the Quest version, and I have to say, it already looks awesome. It reminds me of a mixture between Red Matter and I Expect You to Die. If you're a fan of puzzle escape games, then I would keep an eye out for this game. I know I'll be. I reached out to the devs for more info, and I'll let you know as soon as I have more. When it comes to game sales this week, we have another duo pack for sale in the Quest Store. This time, it's Accounting Plus and Virtual Virtual Reality, both of which are just messed up and weird games that'll have you wondering what you smoked before you put on the headset. Not to say they aren't enjoyable, but get ready to wonder what the heck you're seeing and hearing. The pack is on sale for $21.99, which is about a 20% discount. Well, that's all the news and updates I have for you this week. If you want to keep up to date on everything Oculus Quest, don't forget to hit that little red button down there and hit the bell icon. Plus, you can check out more of my videos over the weekend right there. Thanks so much for watching and happy questing.